greetings and welcome to part number 9 of the Ghost Runner 2 All Collectible series. In this video we're going to cover level 11, Pillars of Creation. We're also going to be able to be crossing off the first collectible related achievement. Collectible number 1 is right here. Left from the gate you will find a container. Drop it down, hop over the gap and pick up the memory shard. The level itself is really big and open, so I will include transition parts where I show you exactly where I go, so you will not get confused on how I reach that point, and you will be able to collect along with me. So to collect them on number 2, it is an artifact that you found in the big main area that connects all the three towers. Let's just call it the hub for now. Follow the road as I do, and go to the end. You will find the tunnel that is covered by debris. Pick up the artifact in front of it. Collectible number 3 is a memory shard that is also very close by. From the last collectible, turn around and drive towards the main road. Take the second left and drive along the pillars. Ignore the ramp in front of you, instead go to the building to the left. You will spot a GR augmentation station and a memory shard. Should you have followed my guides up to this point, this shard will level up your motherboard to level 8, unlock the last ultimate, motoric overdrive and your well earned achievement. Congrats! Number 4 is yet another memory shard close by. Hop onto the bike and drive a bit along the road. You will spot a destroyed building. Go to its right side and start climbing up. You will eventually reach one of the top floors. There you will find the memory shard. Collectible number 5 is another memory shot. Hop back onto the bike and follow the road. Now drive to the right side of the pillars until you spot a ramp. Hop over the ramp and after you drop you will see two cages to your right. The second of the cages will hold your collectible. Now for the first transition part of the level. From the last collectible we head straight on towards the tentacle arc. Drive under it and follow the road to the right. You will pass under another tentacle arc and you will spot the robot in front of you. Drive over him because fuck him. At the end you speed up and you jump onto the other highway as I do. Follow the way to its end and you will eventually come towards an enemy encounter. Deal with all the enemies here and jump onto the concrete bridge. Go to its far end and you will spot a memory shot behind the containers. For a long time there is no collectible until you finish the first part of the cyber void. Now our objective is to orientate ourselves and go back to the hub area. Do so by starting off going down the zip line. Hop onto your bike and retrace your steps towards the big hub area that connects all the towers. As you reach the hub area, make an immediate left. Go along the road, swap to the right side of the pillars. Leave the destroyed building to your right behind you and take the road on the right. Follow the road until Kira starts talking to you. That means you're on the right way. After following the road, you will see a split in the road. A way ahead and a way to the left. Go to the left and drive through the little canyon. It will lead you towards an abandoned building. Drop off here and look into the yard. You will spot the collectible there. Be aware of an enemy that is coming from the left. Now collectible number 8 is an artifact that is close by. Go around this big building, push the platform and destroy the wall. Inside you will find 4 enemies to deal with. After disposing all of them, orientate yourself in the room. To the left you will find the hidden challenge that we will do in a bit. But for now we want to pick up the collectible that is in front of the door. 
Now to the hidden challenge of the level. Turn around and approach the terminal. The challenge is called the run. The goal is to finish the race in under 58 seconds for a gold timing. As in previous challenges, meeting silver and gold requirements will reward you with one memory shard each. The challenge itself is not too difficult, so just go on and have a blast with the bike. Just speed through and get yourself a cool gold timing. There we go, gold timing. Now we have to make for the second tower. From the challenge, exit the building, hop onto your bike. Follow the road straight ahead towards the marker. At the end of the bridge, jump off and deal with the enemies at the checkpoint. Collectible number 9 is close by, it is another memory shard. You will find it as you are forced off your bike. Get off and go to the left. You will spot a big building here. Turn to the left and destroy the container. Jump up, make your way through the gap and go right. Pick up the shard at the end. Collector number 10 is close by. Grapple over to the walkway and go to the right before you hop over. Go to the right again, and opposite to the, the augmentation station you will find a shard. Collectible number 11 is yet another shard that you find as you are up on the second tower. After you just destroy the holding of the platform, turn immediately around and war on twice, grapple towards the shard. Next up is another shard after you finish the cyber white part here. Go down with the zip line and hop onto your bike. Drive along the way to find the collectibles sitting in the middle of the road. Now to the last tower. There's multiple ways there, but we only have one way that also includes a collectible. Go to the exact same spot in the hub where you found the first artifact, so to speak the second collectible. With the back towards the destroyed tunnel, go straight on ahead until you reach another tunnel that you can actually drive through. About halfway into the tunnel, you're able to spot an open room on the right side. Get off the bicycle and enter. Collectible number 13 is in here. You will have to solve a little fuse box and parkour puzzle. Nothing too difficult. Now just snack yourself the shard after you have been successful. Collectible number 14 is close after. Progress towards the tower. Head through the tunnel, defeat the enemies in the yard and go through the door. Hop up to this laser barrier and turn around. Hop and jump over the gaps and go to the right into the secluded room that holds the artifact. Now we gotta go back towards the main hub from the third tower. As you reach the part where you gotta choose the tunnel, take the right one. Make your way through the tunnel and hop over the two barriers you find. Now make your way over the highway. As you reach the hub area, drive along the pillars towards the mission marker. You will notice a big building with a big red pipe next to it. Make your way towards that building on the right side of the pillars. Hop off and go to the right side of the building. Start hopping off and jump up on the building. You will have to reach the top floor to be able to jump over to the collectible. 
If you have difficulties reaching, reaching this collectible, you can also use your motoric overdrive. Now turn around and make your way towards the last collectible of this huge level. What a ride. Anyways, that's it for the level. If that video was helpful, leave a like and I will see you in the next one.